Do you have an answer to this trending question? Today we're going to explain valid answers based on different perspectives. Calculate the sum of the numbers you can see in this figure. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Here's the detailed solution. First, let's begin with one-digit numbers. So now let's find the sum of all the numbers. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's no 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. To find the sum mentally, we can pair up sums of 10. 1 and 9, that's 10. 2 and 8, that's another 10. 3 and 7, that's a 10 and 4 and 6. So we have 4 pairs of 10, so the sum is 40, not 45, because 5 is not in this number. Now let's have non-overlapping 2-digit numbers. First 2-digit number is 60. We have 62. We have 69 64 61 84 81 34 31 91 These are the non-overlapping two-digit numbers. We have 60, 62, 69, 64, 61, 84, 81, 34, 31, 91. Adding these together, we have 637. So the sum of non-overlapping two-digit numbers is 637. Now let's have non-overlapping three-digit numbers. Six hundred twenty-one. 604 601 691 So these are the three digit numbers that are non overlap 621 604 601 
691. Finding the sum of these three digit numbers, we have 2517. So now we need to find the sum of one digit, two digits, and three digit numbers. For the first digit numbers, we have a sum of 40. Two digits, we have a sum of 637. And for three digit numbers, we have 2517. So the sum is 0 plus 7 plus 7 is 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 4, 5. Plus 3 plus 1 is 9. 6 plus 5 is 11. Carry 1 is 3. So the sum of the numbers should be 3,194. So this answer is based on the perspective if we are also including two-digit and three-digit numbers. Did you get a different answer? Please write your comments below and include the reasons for your answers. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.